Listen, I'm going to get this procedure too. Fuck it. At this point, you know what I'm saying? I could give me some lipo, get this motherfucking uh, tube taken up, up off me. You know what I'm saying? And get myself some ass. But, you know, I, I ain't trying to get ass like that. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't got no ass. So it's just like, I need some ass. <laughs> That's my <laughs> I know Clarence can't wait to tear that ass. Oh, do you hear me? Damn! You got a whole new ass. I was fucking with this virgin ass bitch. Wait, let me talk my shit. Let me tell you about this bitch. See, I was really trying to eat the pussy, but she nervous. What was the purpose? I thought you fuck with girls then. See, that's when I ran into my baby Nick. Now, need to turn my ass to a real fucking freak. Yeah. Wait, you better not skip this. You don't skip this. Let me say my piece first. First of all, I need y'all to go subscribe to my peoples. Alex the Great. You understand me? She has 97 subscribers. She knows how to do all the thumbnails, okay? All the thumbnails. Her channel looks like she got 100K. That's a fact. Shout out to you. You're doing a good job. Um, she says she's LGBT, and as of now, she does challenges, vlogs, mukbangs, story times, and reaction type vids. Uh, Buffalo Wild Wings challenge coming soon. Chill vibes, laughs. And you know what I'm saying? Subscribe to her channel. Period. You get what I'm saying? She has 97 subscribers. Yeah, uh, pl please get her to 500. Simple. You know what I'm saying? It's free. It's free. It ain't gonna cost you a goddamn thing. You understand me? So y'all go ahead and do that for me. Do that for her. And I appreciate y'all. Enjoy Queen's new ass. <laughs> ah, what's up, y'all? It's girl Nick G, the host. And um, Queen just uh, posted her snatched body child. We gotta go see that. Let me tell y'all something. I haven't been keeping up with videos like that. Cause I just been just busy, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm so busy. I'm a one man army right now. Well, one, whatever, you know what the hell I mean. But anyway, um, I didn't even know she got surgery until I watched Clarence vlog right, one day. Once again, back with hello. Another video. Uh, the last I say, video I say I hello. Post you guys. Until I watched uh, Clarence vlog one day, and uh, he was talking about how he. You know, she had to take medications and some more shit. And I was like, uh, what the hell wrong with her? So she's revealing this good body. And on them good pictures they took, she was damn sure snatched. So let's uh let's check her out. They get it. What's up, girl? It's your girl Queen Media Cup. Once again, back with another video. The last video I um posted, you guys, I told y'all that I was actually getting surgery, a tummy tuck. However, I did um go ahead and get a tummy tuck BDL because um, because I wanted to. First okay. of all, you can see, I'm standing up right now. I'm standing up because I cannot sit down. So, I did not know that if you got a BBL, you couldn't sit on your butt for like, well, on the pet. What, what's a BBL? So, I guess I'm just going to, uh-uh, I'm not guessing. Y'all ain't about to uh, fry me in the goddamn comments. <laughs> Fat from the stomach injected to the butt. All right. Paper, it says two weeks, but yesterday was my one week post-op checkup and the doctor told me he want me to wait as long as I can, like as long as I can for six weeks to not sit on my butt. So everywhere I've That's been crazy. going, y'all, I've been sitting in the car, literally on my knees, backwards, facing like the, the back of the window. Um, when I go to restaurants, meetings, I went to a Spotify meeting, Snapchat, Twitter meeting, I had to sit in all those meetings on my- How the hell you sit at the awards then? My knees in the chair backwards. As far as like um, my recovery, I think the first oh, was that actually the whole first week was rough for me. Um, not even because of like the pain. The pain wasn't that excruciating. It wasn't unbearable, but it was like the medication that they put me on. You know what? I'm gonna just say the Percocet because the antibiotic was fine and everything else. But the Percocet that they put me on. Um, actually caused me to have like really, 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 really bad anxiety uh, at night um, mm. and like sleep paralysis and like I think it was deeper than that like honestly I always think sleep paralysis is deeper than just like not getting enough sleep because that's crazy I don't I, whew, that is the worst okay but damn honestly queen I don't know if that was sleep paralysis I just think you was a little too high <laughs> 
Listen, any pill I get, I don't care if the doctor gave it to me. Whatever, I don't care if I'm in excruciating pain, nigga. I'm popping that bitch in half. And if it if it's a lot, you know what I'm saying, a lot of grams or whatever, I'ma do it popping in fours. Cause a fourth of a pill, you'll be surprised what a fourth of a pill would do to you. And I can't take a leave and might all and all that shit because for some reason I'm allergic to over the counter drugs, bruh. So popping one of them, I, I cut I chopped that bitch up, test it out, okay. I ain't die. Alright, I'm gonna pop the other, okay. All right, boom. All I had to take was half and it took my pain away. You know what I'm saying? Or I can manage with this pain, you know? Because, like, really dark, evil things happen, you know, um, during sleep paralysis. And the dreams I was having, I was hallucinating, y'all. Oh, Lord. I was looking in the mirror because when I, when I sleep, there's, like, a mirror across from me. And way across from the mirror, I can see my pimples, like, dilating smaller. Wait, is dilating bigger or smaller? What the hell? They give like, you a 15? Okay, not, not, that's the wrong word. What the but, fuck? But um, basically, they like like look smaller. But from the research that um, Lee did, she came in and told me that like all of that is a part of taking a person set. Y'all, I don't do drugs at all. I don't drink. I don't that's smoke. Y'all know I don't. So that was a very strong drug for me, and I'm really scarred from taking that medication. Oh, Lord. I wasn't feeling like myself for... I, I, I've definitely taken a Percocet and felt crazy as fuck. Because once again, I can't take over the counter shit. So when it comes time for my cycle and stuff like that, boy, I need something. Last time I didn't take nothing. And by the grace of God, I was all right. You know what I'm saying? But knock on wood. You know what I'm saying? Another one comes. And another one comes. And they just don't fucking stop. Okay? Damn. But, um... Child, you take one of them damn Percocets, the thing, hey, you're feeling all wrong. Wrong, okay? And they all got different effects and they all affect people differently. So it's just like... Mm -hmm. The longest, I would like be tapping my, my, my skin and like just trying to feel myself because it's like I was talking and everything, but it felt like I wasn't like there. I had really, really, really bad dreams. And I can tell y'all what those bad dreams were in a different video. But this video is just like a my know. one week post out <laughs> update for you guys. I'm going to show y'all um, a little bit of my body. I'm not taking off my garment or anything. Because yesterday is the first day I actually got into my garment. The first week I just wore like a white binder that wrapped around my belly. But I'm going to show you how I look. I'm really, really happy with the results. Um, it takes about six, six weeks to recover fully. And um, for, as far as the fat transfer... Um, not all the, I, I am still swollen, not all the fat stays, so I think the fat will go down a little bit because I'm swollen. Um, a lot of fat will stay, but that depends on how well I like follow directions and everything like that. But I basically got a tummy tuck, um, I got my hernia repaired because around my na belly navel I had, it will puff out. Um, at the top and that was because of my loose skin plus my hernia plus my fibrosis I had really really bad fibro fibrosis I'm saying I'm gonna have to get a surrogate you know what I'm saying well Jay gonna have to pop that pussy back because let me tell you something mm -mm. I do not have time for that and I don't have time for that again absolutely not that shit mm -mm. Like, go through all that just for the baby. This from the uh, previous liposuction, smart lipo I had like two years ago. So he had to get rid of that. He said it was one of the toughest cases he did of fibrosis. And he fixed it so well for me, I was so scared. But I'm gonna show you guys. I have on a t shirt right now and some, and some leggings. Oh, I gave us I really some more booty. Wear tight stuff, but these leggings stretch. Um, I'm not supposed to wear jeans or anything. That stomach gone. But, um, this is um, this is the binder that that I that I wear. Like, <laughs> Queen got a whole new ass. That's crazy. I mean, I think that her ass was fine, but shit. At least she ain't do butt shots. You know them damn butt shots. Like Cardi B, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj. Them booties do not be looking good. Like, I don't see how anybody be, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect to them, but I'm just saying how people, you know, 
can look at it like, damn, that's a bad ass. But it's like, it's not even. I don't, I, mm -mm. I wish they would have got some fat sucked and put back there too. You know what I'm saying? Especially yeah, Nikki. I'm supposed to wear this like lower so that the swelling uh, above my incision, my, not my tummy tuck cut can go down. But this is the garment I have under here. Yes. Um, That's a whole new body. That's crazy. Well, with the garment, you put your underwear over it. So I have on like underwear over my garment. But um, he did a really, really, really good job. As he far did. As, like, contouring my, my waist and all that. As y'all know, I had really, really bad love handles up here, like up here, and I had hip dips. So he took the fat that was from up here and put it down in my hips. Hmm. Now, it's a whole story to the butt situation. There's still a swollen right here. Um, that's my butt. <laughs> I know Clarence can't wait to tell that ass. Oh, do you hear me? Damn, you got a whole new ass. That's crazy. Like them little. Oh well, I guess adding on hips because I I, I don't think they added on at all. Let me listen. But right now, keep in mind, y'all, it's still swollen. Oh, okay. So. Um, some of the, that will go down a little bit, but it still will like, as long as I follow directions, it still will keep it shape and stuff like that. But that's like, that's like how it looks, um, Shut up, right doctor. Now. So the story with the butt, it was so funny because okay. at first I was just only supposed to be getting a tummy tuck and a, a fat transfer to my hips. Then she added on some ass. The day of the surgery, um, I wasn't even going to get my upper back fat removed um but i i noticed it and i was like i don't want him to do liposuction down here and then i have fat rolls and stuff at the top of my back because right. that would look not like unproportioned so i asked him i was like you know would you be able to get the fat up there in my, in my back so he was like um he told me yeah so i paid a i paid an extra little fee it wasn't you know too much um and Shit. So wait. Yeah, just give me about five thousand more dollars. We cool, cause I know it wasn't like let's just give me a thousand. It might have been, but I wonder how much this procedure is. Child Lauren got this procedure from um Joelle and Lauren, and she just thinks she just got the best ass in the world. She just it can't dance at all. She just be you know what I'm saying. Listen, I'm gonna get this procedure too. Fuck it. At this point. You know what I'm saying? I could give me some lipo, get this motherfucking uh, tube taken up, up off me. You know what I'm saying? And give myself some ass. But, you know, I, I ain't trying to get ass like that. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't got no ass. So it's just like, I need some ass. <laughs> Back to, whatever. You get it. So, Shit. um, oh yeah, it's supposed to be like that. I have to like push it. Okay, so anyway, first, initially, he was supposed to transfer the fat from my love handles to my hips. And I also had, on my lower back, I had a little fat too, right above my like butt. And I didn't like that, so I wanted him to take that out too. So, when I asked him, I said, where are we uh, putting the fat? And he said, all my hips. So I looked at it and I was like, hmm, well, I don't want to have like all this. I want to be real hippie. And then I turned to the side and it's like, no way. my butt is like flat compared to my hips. I don't want to be wide and flat. So if I have some back fat, you can transfer that into the top of my butt. So that it will like, you know, have the, have the S curve. I'm glad she told the doctor what to do. He was going to have her all messed up with extra hips. Like, are you serious? <laughs> like. I don't know why he would have just done that. He knew that that would not be proportion right. But whatever. So hip curve like at the top of my butt. But since he was doing some some um, fat removal up here as well, um, that fat, he said that if he had enough, he would put some like right in my lower butt area. Because if he put fat at the top of my butt and then fat in my hips, then we don't want like a 
a wide booty at the top and then narrow down to the bottom of my, of my butt cheeks. So I didn't want to have like a V-shaped butt. Right. Have you guys ever seen that, like a V-shaped butt? I don't like those kind of butts. I wanted to all look proportioned, but all match with my thighs. I didn't want to have like an ant booty or like... More like mine. I didn't want to look like too just unproportioned. So I told him, whatever you have to do to make me look proportioned, you know what I'm saying? Um, do it and so when I came out of the surgery room I initially only seen like my stomach at first and then when I had started walking and, and like limping around like this because I couldn't stand up straight for a week so like I was like this when I see my butt I was like a little scared because I was like this is big like right. but I was really really swollen so um I had the drink connected I couldn't wear nothing but sweatpants and oh, um, this. sweatpants that I had on made my butt like appear just so so big and I got scared for a minute like uh, I hope you know it don't stay like that because I don't want to look like I'm doing too much and like I just didn't want to be walking around with a, a big donkey booty you know <laughs> and as y'all know I already had a butt before honestly right. my butt was already fat it's just you know it wasn't it wasn't as round as it is now because of my hips and everything so the swelling went down a little bit um my butt as far as like the 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 firmness and stuff it's firm right now it's not i'm not gonna say it's like hard but it's like firm and i guess there's a um like over the course of the healing time it'll get softer it and then it'll have a fluffing yeah. stage where it'll like kind of fluff out huh. so like then when you poke it it bounce back at you you know what i'm saying bounce back bounce, yes, bounce, bounce back. back anyway yeah i can stand up straight and y'all can see i can stand up straight now i'm really happy with my results um I'm happy I didn't go to New York to get my butt done, or not my butt. I'm happy I didn't go to New York to get my body done. Um, I'm I'm happy with the decision I made for Beverly Hills, and yeah, he's a very 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 good doctor. Um, and y'all, the best part, I thought I wasn't gonna have a belly button when he was like circling my like marking my body and stuff. He was telling me that I might or might not have a belly button because my belly button is so shallow you know how you could like poke your finger in somebody's belly button and it's deep well i don't have a deep belly button mine's was like naturally shallow so it's not a lot of you that's know that's crazy it's not too deep so i was scared that you know i wasn't i was gonna have just a line for a belly button but i actually do have a circular or a little round ovally belly button how you just get so rid of a there. belly button the stitches will um, dissolve and eventually that will go away. As far as like my fibrosis, since it was such a tough case, I do, um, when I feel in there, it's still a little like hard in there, but it doesn't show at all. It just looks completely flat. So I don't, I'm happy with that. So you can't see all the lumps and crumps that I freaking hated so bad. I'm excited to go shopping for all my new clothes. Um, I already got home and tried on like some, some of my Fashion Nova outfits. And I can't wait to do like a um, fashion over home boy, boyfriend race girlfriend's outfits video for you guys. I can't wait to do fashion hauls and stuff. And like I'm just I'm just really 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 happy. Like I feel more confident, you know, with my body and stuff like that. Being a mom of two kids and having two C sections and all of this stuff going on with myself, like I'm really you know I'm happy. My eyelash update. Uh, they kind of still look the same. I have a mascara. What I don't like about this mm. one right here is that these clump together more than these. So like every time I put on mascara, it clumps up. She got eyelashes, like added on eyelashes. I hate that. Y'all let me know. I'm not be getting no more surgeries, you guys. Um, I'm not getting my. I'm not gonna. Don't worry. I'm not gonna turn into one of the girls that go get their boobs done and go get girl lip fat added and all Please. that stuff. I'm not touching my face. As you already know, I already had did like eye fillers before. Never doing it again. I walked around with a black eye for like a whole week straight. Not touching my nose. Although sometimes I'd be like, oh, my nose is a little fat. Uh -uh. Here. I'm gonna keep my Please nose. keep your nose, Lord. I hate when people change their nose. You look like a total different person. You know what I'm saying? Please don't touch your nose. Everything else, I, you just... I feel like, you know what I'm saying, if you take fat from your own body and put it in your butt you know what i'm saying that's not that's not bad but adding on some shit that ain't supposed to be there yeah that might be bad Nicki minaj booty i hate it <laughs> and uh, y'all you know some of y'all not gonna like that but i mean come on 
She when she had the little tooth, she was fine. She was fine, bro. Now, nah, what up? Cute nose contour when I put on makeup. I don't have on no makeup right now, by the way. And I am trying to get like rid of these two pimples, three pimples that's been here for the longest. I'm gonna let my body heal a little bit more. I'm gonna let the bruises go away. I don't have a lot of bruising, but I do have some bruising. And I'm not gonna show you guys my skin until I unbruise. When I was actually high off the medication, I'm so glad Claire stopped me. <laughs> I was actually going to post a video showing, like I had my underwear on, my drain hanging out, bruises all over, and he was like, you do not need to post that because once it's on social media, it's always okay. there. I didn't want to surface the internet later on, and I'd be embarrassed and regretful about posting a video, so I'm really glad I didn't do that, but I will be showing you guys, like, you know, my my skin later on so yeah that's about it um i actually have to go take a number two and what i really like about this garment it has like a hole a big old hole where like you just go to the bathroom unfortunately i'm not gonna do that because no, i don't i just like this nasty so i'm gonna struggle taking this garment off because it's so freaking tight and i'm gonna go to the bathroom i'm gonna edit this video yeah post it the and nails look good you know, y'all just, I don't know, you enjoy the video, that's about it. Me and Claire trying to work on a Royal Family channel too, but um, he been really doing good with his with his channel consistently. We just yes. got him for our channel. I really want to break him so bad, y'all. I want to break him so bad. Act like you texting your ex. Oh, no. Send me some ideas. I really Use him for clickbait. <laughs> He might snap on your ass though, I ain't gonna hold you. But that's about it y'all and um, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Love y'all. FYI, I was glad for this me waking up from anesthesia, acting really loopy, comment below if I should post it. You know you should post that. But remember, once it's on the internet, it stay on the internet, y'all. <laughs> Everybody be acting crazy. And as soon as, as soon as somebody do something, it, it's right on the T pages and shit. That should be crazy. But all right, y'all, for more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up. If you need merch, if you need CBD, 10% off. And if you're trying to come to my party, all links will be down in the pinned comment and in the description below. You heard me. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. We on to the next video. Peace out. Are you looking to get your shirt printed by Nick G the host? And not only get your shirt printed, get the fattest, the best, the baddest logo in the world. And that's royalty apparel. And you can get it from me. Yes, me. I do everything. I print out the logo. I cut the logo. I pick the logo. I also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt. Then I press it down. Okay, one, two, three. Pop open. Then you got the best logo out in the world, okay? And I got to make sure that it's on correctly. Not only that, I got to ship it. So I make sure it's on there, heat and press right. Then I make sure it's folded right. Package it right. Okay, okay. Then you got to close it so it can get to you on time. You know what I'm saying? Then I put my P.O. box on a paper and I send it to your door. Let me know if you want your shirt printed. Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.